Hi, I'm Becky Nunn with Nunn Design. In this segment, we'll be looking at different techniques using our line of Patera jewelry findings, our collage sheets, and unbaked polymer clay. Mary Lynn Maloney is an artist, a designer, and an instructor, and she will be showing us how. Have fun! Hi! This is a really cool project that involves transferring a collage sheet image onto unbaked or raw polymer clay. My first step is to condition my clay and roll out a thin sheet to work on. So I've got my pasta machine set up over here that's dedicated for polymer clay use. I have some ivory colored clay that I've put into the machine and I'm just going to roll it through on the thickest setting of the pasta machine. About 20 or 30 times is what you need to do to get it conditioned so that there's no air bubbles inside of it. This has just a few more turns left and it should be ready for working with. This gets out all the air bubbles and gives you a good clay to work with. So here's a good thin sheet of clay. It doesn't matter that the edges are kind of rough. We're not going to be working with that part. The next step is to transfer my collage image onto the clay. And what I'm using are the Nun Design transfer sheets. And I'm focusing in on this little bird image right here from the Birds and Butterflies collection. We also have the Paris collage sheets you can work with the collage birds, and then the bathing beauties. So I've already trimmed down my collage sheet so that it's easy to fit into my punch. And the best way to punch is to turn your punch over so you can see directly down into it and see what you'll be punching. So I pick up my sheet, slide it into the punch, and just check down, make sure I've got it where I want it, hold on to it, and punch. There's my sheet, and then there's my little bird. Now I'm going to take him and just place him directly on top of my unbaked clay. He's going to go right about there. And I want to make good contact between the collage sheet and the clay, so I'm just going to rub it with my finger. And then I'm going to use um, a burnishing tool. This is a bone folder. and just rub gently all over the back of the collage sheet. This makes really good contact between the image and the raw clay, so you get a good transfer. The next thing I do is spritz the back of my paper with a few sprays of just plain water. And then I go into the back of the piece and just start rubbing it in a circular motion with my finger. I do it firmly but yet also gently to keep rubbing until the image is revealed. You can brush away the bits of paper. And it looks pretty good and you can add you can go ahead and add a little bit more water if you got some stubborn paper and that should do it so now I've got my bird image down and I want to embellish it a little bit more and so I'm going to uh, do some rubber stamping on top of it so I have a rubber stamp here with some script on it just set it down there and I have some metallic ink in copper and I'm just going to take the ink directly to the stamp and then I'm going to I've got a little mask that I've punched out it's the same size circle as the bird image and that's going right over my image 
so that what I stamp will just go on the clay and it won't go directly on the image. And I stamp right over the bird, pull straight up, and I just use my fingernail to move the little mask away. And there's the text surrounding my bird. Now I need to cut my clay out. So this is the small square framed pendant from Nun Design, the Patera line. And this is going to be my guide. And I'm going to place it, press down lightly, and pull up. Now I've got faint lines that I can use to cut out my clay. And I'm going to use my clay blade. And be careful, it's a really wicked sharp blade on this side. And I follow the guidelines that I made with my little cookie cutter method. And I can get this excess clay out of the way so I can access my main piece. And then there's my stamped image. It's also a good idea at this point to pick it up, place it in the uh, patera, and make sure that it fits. Mine is a little bit big, so what I'm going to do is just use my clay blade, mark where it needs to be trimmed very lightly, take it out, and just trim it so that it fits neatly. So now it's ready to bake. I bake it right on this tile that I'm working on. I put it in a toaster oven. You can also use a conventional oven. And I bake it according to the clay manufacturer's directions that are on their packaging. Once it's baked, it's nice and hard, finished. You don't really need to put anything over the top because the baking sets the inks and it's all ready to go. So I want it inside my pendant and I just use a jewelry glue. Any glue that is made for metal, um, glues that are formulated for jewelers works great. And let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm ready to embellish it with whatever chains and links I want.